Hello, everybody. My guest today is Pavel Shima. He is the CEO of a data-driven attribution provider helping market leaders and innovators like Orange, Axe, Vodafone, and a whole host of up-and-coming e-commerce businesses increase their marketing ROI and grow faster. He's also a best-selling author, marketing podcast producer, and overall marketer lover. His company is called Royvenue. All right, Pavel, you ready to take us to the top? Sure, sure thing. Yeah, let's do this. All right, so the domain is actually spelled ROIvenue.com. So what's the company doing? How do you guys make money? Yeah, actually, that's no coincidence uh, because we are all about ROI. So we help digital marketers and CMOs to really understand what is their ROI on the different channels that they're engaged with and how can they improve that, right? So uh, the best, the thing that we're most known for is something that's called uh, data-driven attribution. And that's uh, something that using machine learning helps you understand which touch points and which channels help you drive uh, sales and revenue. And, the, and the what's company. like a, what's an average customer paying per month for this tool? Yeah, so uh, we're right now the ARPU is 1400 USD. 1400 USD. That's great. And when did you launch the company? What year? Well, basically, uh, the MVP was around since 2015. First clients were 2016, but we actually spun it off uh, when we got some traction in January 2018. So there's there's multiple multiple starting points. For okay, us, really. so okay, 2018 is when you spun it off. Now, are you majority shareholder? No, I'm not, uh, um, uh, because there is five of us actually. Five there's founders. five co-founders. Yeah. Holy macro! How do you get anything <laughs> done? <laughs> Long story, man. Uh, yeah, I mean, basically, we, we, we need to talk to each other and and uh, and really, I mean, I'm, I'm the only business uh, kind of driven co-founder and the, then we have a, a three technical co-founders, actually. Okay. And, and so walk me through between, you know, the spin out in 2018 and today, um, how many customers have you scaled to? Uh, so basically, right now, we're at uh, 31 customers and uh, we had 100% revenue growth from uh, the previous year. Oh, nice. Okay, so 31 customers paying $1,400 per month means you're doing about $43,400 today. Is that right? Uh, it's about 50K, yes. About, okay. So what, you have more customers or higher ARPU? Uh, maybe a little higher ARPU, maybe it's 450 or something like okay. that. Okay, got it. And I know you're doing conversion live, so I appreciate that. Um, and if you're growing 100% year over year, that means you were doing, what, about $25,000 exactly a year ago? Uh, yeah, yeah, something like that. Per month, yeah. Do you remember what you closed out 2018 with in December of 2018? How much did you do? Do you know? Um, no, I don't recall that. No. That's okay. That would have been like six months ago. Um, walk me through growth, right? So how are you signing up these customers? Where are you finding them? Uh, so basically, we uh, have we're headquartered in Prague actually, and, and we have a significant position in win uh, within CEE region, uh, and uh, we're on the top fifteen attribution vendors list globally. And just to give you an idea, there's twelve U.S. companies, and then there's one from Israel, one from Switzerland, and then us, right? So uh, we kind of build out from CEE from Prague. So we consider Czech and Slovak our home markets. And then we slowly uh, branched out to other markets. So right now we're in Warsaw, we're also in the uh, UK. And how we do an acquisition is, is, is it's a traditional B2B sales, really uh, talking to clients, doing both inbound and outbound, and then personal meetings and, and closing, closing the deals. What are you, I mean, but, but, so I mean, those are very generic answers, right? You're doing things specifically in each of those categories to sign up customers, right? So how are you, I mean, are you using things like LinkedIn search or conferences or how specifically are you finding new customers? Customers. Yeah, true. Uh, so f- about 40% is inbound. And what I mean by inbound is conferences, uh, it's uh, our content, it's a demo request on our site. What's the last we, conference you went to? Uh, we tend to go to e commerce conferences. So it was uh, IRX uh, and actually in Birmingham, out of both places. Okay. Now, do you uh, pay for that placement or you just go as an attendee? Yeah, we, we would usually rent a booth. Okay, yeah. and how much did IRX cost? Uh, usually we, we are able to get a booth for uh, 1K or 2K. So we, we were pretty efficient on that. That's good. Now, how That's- many leads will you get from that conference? So we, from a conference, we will get uh, about 100 uh, leads. Um, but you, so last quarter, we actually got about 700 leads in total from all the activities that we were doing. Uh, and we closed eight new clients. Okay. So, That's great. Now, so you'll get about close one client for every hundred leads. 
Yeah, something like that. Yeah, that's. I mean, that obviously works. Now, have you done this all bootstrapped, or have you raised capital? So we, for a long time, we were bootstrapped with uh, running f- from founders money, etc. And then last year, actually in September, we got a uh, seed round uh, to ex- to have the capability to expand to new territories. Okay, so how much have you raised total? Okay, uh, we've raised uh, I think it was zero point six euros. Uh, so that would be 800,000. Uh, 800, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's good. Now, did yeah. you do that on a convertible note or did you sell equity? No, it was uh, through equity. Through equity. Okay, good. So like what percent of the company did you guys sell? 5%, 10%? Uh, it was uh, it was more than that. Uh, I wouldn't disclose the, the precise number, but it was more than that. Less than 50 though? Yeah, totally. Less than okay, 50. just making sure. All right, and what's team size today? Uh, we're about 25, 30 people. 25, uh, 25. We have most people in the head office, obviously, in profit. Yep, yep. yep. Uh, now, walk me through churn. What's your churn today look like? Uh, we are in logo churn 2.5%, which is pretty good. Uh, uh, I assume your next question would be net expansion revenue. Well, what's revenue net- churn? Do you know revenue churn? Uh, so net... Um, uh, so two point five percent logo is revenue churn equal to logo churn about two point five percent? Yeah, it would be about that. Yeah, yeah. And then um, you must have listened to the show before because you know what I'm gonna because have... you know what I'm gonna ask. <laughs> so net, re- what oh, do you yeah, have? Yeah. You listen? Yeah, I, mean, I listen to Mish, and I'm actually a fan of your work, man. That, that's something I wanted to say. Uh, it, it's very impressive what you do, all of, not only with the show, but with the magazine, your presence on the conferences, the book, obviously, and all that. I think you found a, a nice niche, and and you're really expanding on that. You're, you're delivering value, and you're building business around it. Yeah, and I'm trying. And I appreciate it. Man. I, I no, listen. I'm having fun, and it means a lot that you say that. You know, sometimes I feel um, a little bit. I'm just thankful that founders see the value in coming on the show because a lot of them will be like, no, he's just mean to CEOs and he beats them up. But honestly, the reason I try and get the data that I get is because I can then help CEOs, like all private equity firms, all VC firms listen to this show so I can help the founders get more of what they want. So I sometimes struggle with getting that balance right. But we find a way how to give it structure. That's, I think, really important. Well, I appreciate that. So, uh, so okay, walk me through net revenue at retention. Uh, it's about 100%, uh, but um, it might actually go down this year um, because our product is not very expandable, I would say. Uh, there, There's obviously features that we can upsell on and tiers we can we can push clients on. Uh, well, I, I think we really need to work more on, on that going forward. And, and I mean, to get a new customer paying 14, 15, 1600 bucks per month, do you know what your fully weighted CAC is? Yeah, uh, it depends. So in our home market, uh, it's only about three, 4k really USD. Uh, so the, the payback period is only less than three months, which is awesome and great. But in the new territories where we're actually heavily investing the money that we raised, and uh, where we didn't have that many acquisitions yet, uh, the, the the numbers are much uh, worse. So the, the payment back period will be about 20 months. Uh, so we need to uh, wait and see if the new uh, sales representatives uh, will deliver, right? And once they start yeah. delivering what they need to be delivering, then we should stabilize and, and um you know, the, the, the idea is to get to get to a similar numbers like on, on our home market uh, in, in a year or two as well. Yeah, that's good. That's, yeah, good, that's, stuff. Good. that's good. Talk to me about profitability. So are you guys burn? I imagine you're burning because you just raised capital. How much are you burning yeah. per month? Uh, so we are burning about in dollars. How much will it be? 50, 50 K, maybe 50, 70 K. Something okay, like so that's good. That means you have like 15, 16 months of runway, assuming you do no revenue, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, pl- plenty of runway. Um, which means, so if you're burning 50 grand and your revenue is 50 grand as well, that means your kind of total expenses are about 100 grand per month. Uh, yeah, a little north of that. Yeah. Somewhere about there. That's good. Very good. All right. Um, any plans to raise additional capital here in the near future or no? Yeah, actually, we will be probably raising a, a bridge round uh, before we do Series A. Mm-hmm. So. 
And how much would that bridge round be for? Uh, uh, probably another 600, um, and, 750, yeah. And what do you hope to raise that at, like valuation wise? 6 million pre money, 7 million? We actually want to do convertible. So we will kind of push that question further down the road and we'll see it Series A. But Series A, uh, we would hope to do in less than a year time. And um, I think that should be about six million euros. So let's say, yeah, seven, eight million dollars. Yeah, seven million Series A in the next year. Is that right? Yeah, uh, within 12 months, I would say. Yeah, yeah that's great. Uh, very good. All right, man, let's wrap up with the famous five. Number one, what's your favorite business book? I don't have a book, actually. I've, I've read a bunch, but nothing really, uh, you know, I wasn't really that shocked or... or, or um, I would more recommend founders to play strategic computer games, <laughs> to be honest with what's you. What's your favorite computer game? Uh, no, I've played a bunch when I was younger, and uh, I mean stuff like Civilization or uh, Transport Tycoon. You did know? you? Hey, did you ever play? Did you ever play Age of Empires, the Conquerors edition? Uh, not the Conquerors edition, no. Age of Kings. Empires, obviously, yeah. Dude, I freaking <laughs> love that game. I could play Euro like RPG maps for like ten hours straight and not even blink. Yeah, no, but I think what's great is it teaches you how to allocate resources effectively. Yeah, that, that's what it does. Yeah children listening to this right now are celebrating and saying, look, mom, this guy said I should play games all day. It's good. All right. Number two, who's the CEO you're following or studying? I'm not following anybody really closely, but I, uh, I saw Elon Musk recently when he was presenting the model Y and you know, if you take all the cars, it spells out sexy, right? Model S, model three, X and Y. And in that I saw, an embodiment of execution of a long-term vision, right? It, you know, whatever was going on with the company, uh, he just delivered on what he promised 10 years ago. And then I think that's admirable. Yeah. yeah. Number yeah. three, what's your favorite online tool for building the company? All the usual stuff, Slack, uh, the Google Suite and Google Sheets, um, LinkedIn, you know, the normals. Number four, how many hours of sleep are you getting every night? Uh, seven, I'd say. Okay, that's good. And what's your situation? Married, single, kids? Uh, girlfriend, no kids. Okay, no kids. And how old are you? 31. 31. Last question. What do you wish your 20-year-old self knew? Um, I actually thought about it. I, I would say being, there's, you shouldn't be ashamed. Being poor is nothing to be ashamed of. I would put it being this Being what? Being poor, having no money, being ah. broke, ah. you know? Uh, because I believe if you're doing everything else correctly, money and success will come sooner or later. Guys, I totally uh, agree with you guys. Royvenue.com, R-O-I-Venue.com. They've passed $50,000 per month in revenue, 30 customers paying $1,600 per month. Again, they're helping CMOs increase their digital ROI. 40% of their stuff is coming inbound. They'll spend two, three grand at each conference to get signups. Over 105% growth rate year over year, doing 25 grand per month just a year ago. Now burning about $50,000 per month in cash each month, but they've raised 800 grand. So plenty of runway, net revenue retention over 100%. Payback period on new customers is about three months with a $5,000 CAC as they look to scale. Pavel, thank you for taking us to the top. Sure, sure thing. It was a pleasure. One more thing before you go. We have a brand new show every Thursday at 1 p.m. Central. It's called Shark Tank for SaaS. We call it Deal or Bust. One founder comes on, three hungry buyers, they try and do a deal live and the founder shares back-end dashboards, their expenses, their revenue, ARPU, CAC, LTV, you name it, they share it. And the buyers try and make a deal live. It is fun to watch every Thursday, 1 p.m. Central. Additionally, remember these recorded founder interviews go live. We release them here on YouTube every day at 2 p.m. Central. To make sure you don't miss any of that, make sure you click the subscribe button below here on YouTube, the big red button, and then click the little bell notification to make sure you get notifications when we do go live. I wouldn't want you to miss breaking news in the SaaS world, whether it's an acquisition, a big fundraise, a big big sale, a big profitability statement, or something else. I don't want you to miss it. Additionally, if you want to take this conversation deeper and further, we have by far the largest private Slack community for B2B SaaS founders. You want to get in there. We've probably talked about your tool if you're running a company or your firm if you're investing. You can go in there and quickly search and see what people are saying. Sign up for that at nathanlacka.com 
forward slash slack. In the meantime, I'm hanging out with you here on YouTube. I'll be in the comments for the next 30 minutes. Feel free to let me know what you thought about this episode. And if you enjoyed it, click the thumbs up. We get a lot of haters that are mad at how aggressive I am on these shows, but I do it so that we can all learn. We have to counter those people. We got to push them away. Click the thumbs up below to counter them and know that I appreciate your guys' support. All right. I'll be in the comments. See ya.